You are welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can set up IP CCTV cameras using multiple switches. In previous videos, I showed how to set up IP cameras using just a single switch. But take for instance a structure where there are a number of cameras to be positioned in one particular area, like what you see here. And another group of cameras are to be positioned at another end that is a little bit far from the first location. And maybe, perhaps, there is a third set of cameras also to be located, say, here, which is also distant away from the first two groups of cameras. If all these cameras are to be viewed or recorded onto a single NVR, the best approach will be to use multiple switches. Therefore, in this video, I will show you the best approach to linking multiple switches to an NVR in order to be able to deliver efficient network traffic for optimum CCTV camera video transmission. For our case study, because we are assuming that there are three locations where there are a cluster of cameras, we will require three network switches. So at each of the three clusters, a switch will be placed to which the cameras will be connected. We will also use a router which will be receiving all the video signals from the switches and directing the signals to the NVR. Here are samples of IP cameras that we'll be using in our demonstration. I also have here the NVR. This is the back. We will be hooking up all the cameras that we'll be using to this NVR. And of course, we'll be using CAT6 network cables for all our network connections. Here are the three switches that we'll be using and they represent a switch at each of the three locations where there are a cluster of cameras. Here is also the NVR. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll connect just a few cameras, but I'll have a camera connected to each of the three switches in order to represent the entire network. So for switch one, I'll connect this camera. I will as well connect this other camera to, to switch one. For switch 2, I will connect this camera. And switch 3, I will connect this camera also. So this is how what I'm doing looks like on paper. Even though I'm practically using fewer cameras in my demonstration, I have connected each camera to a nearby switch. And so the next thing to do is to link all these switches to the NVR so that the camera videos can be seen on the NVR. And this is where we require the router. So for each of the switches, we will connect a cable from the uplink port and take into a LAN port on the router. So for switch one, I will connect a cable from the uplink port here and connect the other end into the router. For switch two, we will connect from the uplink port This end goes into the router. Switch 3 does not have a specific uplink port, so we will connect from any of the switch ports and take into the router. We will now link the router to the NVR by connecting the cable here on the router. and take into the LAN port of the NVR.
So this is an illustration of what we have done so far. Each of the cameras have been connected to a nearby switch and the three switches have been connected to the router. The NVR is also connected to the router so that all camera signals received by the switches can all be assessed on the NVR. All right, let's go back and power up the systems. I have powered up the systems. All the switches are on. The NVR is loading up. And my cameras are picked up automatically. But in case your camera does not pick up automatically, depending on your brand, you need to go through the manual camera adapt process to load up your cameras. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.